In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can optimize WordPress to get the best optimization possible. Here I have a demo WordPress installation and I've used a tool to install some demo content onto this site. The first thing we're going to do is install a plugin that will allow us to quantify exactly how optimized our WordPress installation is. From the menu on the left, go to Plugins and go to Add New. Then in the search box, enter GT Metrics and that's an X at the end of metrics. And under GT metrics for WordPress, click install now. Then click OK to confirm the installation of the plugin. Once the plugin has been installed, click activate plugin. Now on the left menu, click on GT metrics. On this screen, you'll be asked to enter a GT metrics account email and API key. If you don't already have one, click the link to register for a GT Metrics account. On the top right of the GT Metrics site, click Sign Up and then fill your information in the field provided. Once you've registered and generated your API key, go back to the GT Metrics page and enter your email address and API key and hit Save. Once you've entered your API key, when you click on GT Metrics on the left menu, you'll now be able to click on Tests. Here we can test our front page of our site and see exactly how well it's performing. Click Test Your Front Page Now to begin the test. Once the testing is completed, the results will be displayed. In this instance, our page speed is a D and our Y slow is a B. So we have a little work to do. Next we'll install a plugin that will enable several optimization features in our WordPress installation. So as we did before, on the left we'll go to Plugins and then we'll click Add New. In the search box, type total cache and then click search. In the results, you'll see W3 total cache. Click install now and click OK to confirm the installation. Once the plugin has installed, click activate plugin. Once the plugin is enabled, you'll have a performance tab on the left menu. And if you click on general settings, you'll get to the main screen of the total cache plugin. Depending on your installation, you may see several different error messages on this screen. You could ignore those for right now. The first thing we need to do is go and enable permalinks on our WordPress installation. So from the left menu, click Settings and click Permalinks. Select the method of permalinks you would like to use. In this instance, we're going to use date and name. Then scroll down and once your settings have been saved, go back to Performance on the left menu and select General Settings. Now it's time to enable some of the settings in our Total Cache plugin. Scroll down and under Page Cache, click Enable. Then scroll down a little further and under Minify, click Enable. Scroll down to the next section and under Database Cache, click Enable. Below that, under Object Cache, also click Enable. And then finally, under Browser Cache, click Enable. Then scroll down, and you can review some of the other options that we're not going to use right now. And once you've looked through this page, you can click on any of the blue Save All Settings buttons. After you've saved your settings, you may get a message that says one or more plugins have been activated or deactivated, and to please empty the page cache. Go ahead and click on the Empty Page Cache button. Before we go test our site again, let's switch over to our home page and refresh the screen in order to allow the Total Cache plugin to create the different cache entries for the content on this page. You'll notice that this first refresh might take a little bit longer than normal while all the cache entries are created. Once the page is refreshed, refresh it again and you'll see that it loads a lot faster this time. Now let's go back over to our admin and test the page. Under GT Metrics, go back over to Tests, and then click Retest Your Front Page. Now we can see that our score has definitely improved. Our page speed went from a D to a B, and our Y slow is still at a B, but we'll change a few settings that will help that out here in just a minute. If you click on the Detailed Report link, GT Metrics will open up a page and show you the specific items that it tested on your page and how they affect the ranking that it gave you. You can see that overall the test did really well, but there are a couple of things that did not test so well. One of those is to leverage browser caching. 
If you click over to the YSLO tab, you'll see that YSLO is also looking for expire headers, a content delivery network, and entity tags. We'll address a few of those options in this tutorial as well. The first thing we want to do is go and edit our HT Access file for WordPress. To do this, you can use whichever editor you prefer. You can also open an FTP connection, bring down the HT Access file and make the edits, and then upload it back to your site. Once we've opened up the HT Access file, you'll see several different sections in here. We need to add a section to this document that will enable browser caching and also add some expiration times to content on our site. Click the link in this video to be taken to a page with the code snippet you need to paste into this document. Once you've added the code, save it, and then we'll go back to our WordPress install and we'll run the test again. Back at the GT Metrics page, click Retest Your Front Page. And the results are in and we scored straight A's. Congratulations, you've optimized your WordPress installation. For more tutorials, visit a2hosting.com kb.